Thank you for watching Calkine TV. This is Sage, and you are about to hear the top ASX buzzing stocks for the day. Let's take a look at the announcements from the ASX today. The Australian mining giant BHP today released its economic contribution report for the 2022 financial year. According to the report, BHP contributed 79.3 billion Australian dollars to the Australian economy in the 2022 financial year and 16.5 billion Australian dollars of these payments were made to its suppliers for the purchase of utilities, goods and services. The company also paid out $39.6 billion worth of dividends to its shareholders and investors during the 2022 financial year. BHP in its report also said that it paid 4.6 billion Australian dollars to employees and while 106 million Australian dollars were invested in social contributions. BHP remained one of the largest taxpayers in Australia and the company made total payments of $18.5 billion to governments in Australian taxes, royalty related income taxes, royalties and other payments to governments. The mining giant expects to fund approximately 10% of total Australian company tax in 2022's financial year. BHP operated projects contributed 9% in Queensland and 13% Western Australia of all revenue excluding grants. And today BHP shares traded at 38 Australian dollars 11 cents being up by 0.55%. Next we have the Australian investing company Magellan who announced its funds under management for the month of August. The company reported net outflows of $1.3 billion. Magellan's funds under management fell to $57.6 billion by the end of August. This is from $60.2 billion a month earlier. The company also reported that its retail funds fell to $21.4 billion, while institutional funds also declined to $36.2 billion. This is from $37.6 billion. Shares of Magellan traded at 12 Australian dollars and 8 cents, being down by 2.89% today. Now, before we move on to the next, traders can also speculate on the direction of a group of stocks by buying stock indices such as ASX, or that's the Australian Stock Exchange, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, FTSE 100 and more. Now in this case, the investors aren't actually buying any particular underlying stock, but speculating on the overall performance of the group of stocks listed on that stock index. And generally when the groups of stocks listed, when their prices decrease, the index will go down following the same direction and vice versa. Traders can buy index cash CFDs which have no expiry date and index futures CFDs which do have an expiry date. So that was just a little precursor before our next announcement that we're reporting on. The Australian Stock Exchange today announced a group monthly activity report for the month of August 2022 comparing the previous corresponding period and the index reported that in August 2022 total capital raised was $5.7 billion, down 26%. New listed entities admitted for the month of August were four, while delistings were 17. The average daily number of trades was down 3% and the average daily value traded on market of $5.71 billion was down 11%. The group also said that volatility was 0.5% in August, up 0.1%. Today, ASX shares traded at 76 Australian dollars 98 cents, down by 0.16%. Next for you, the Australian Rare Earths producer, Hastings Technology Metals today announced that it has launched a $100 million two tranche placement for the issue of approximately 22.7 million new fully paid ordinary shares at an offer price of 4 Australian dollars 40 cents per new share. The placement comprises an underwritten institutional placement of 90 million Australian dollars with 10 million Australian dollars to be raised under a non-underwritten chairman's list. Tranche 1 of the placements is set to raise approximately 67 million Australian dollars and tranche 2 of the placement, which is subject to shareholder approval, is set to raise approximately 33 million Australian dollars. Hastings will also undertake a non-underwritten share purchase plan at the same price as the placement to raise up to $10 million. 
And lastly for you, Australian leading online marketplace for local services, Airtasker appoints Mahendra Tamaraja as its new Chief Financial Officer and also announced the resignation of current CFO Nathan Chadwick. Maharendra joins Airtasker from listed labour and recruitment business Ignite, where he has been the CFO for six years already. All right, thank you so much for joining us. That's all for this edition of the Top ASX Buzzing Stocks for the day. Another episode will be coming your way. Until then, keep it locked on Calcane TV for the latest market insights and business news. Sage signing off.